Hello, thank you for watching the political report. I will start off by requesting that you please send this video far and wide. I hope that it reaches everybody. Um, and I hope that other law enforcement agents, aside from the police chief I'm going to discuss today, uh, picks up where he left off and does the same thing and basically draws the line in the sand. Um, police chief Mark Kessler out of Gilberton Burroughs in Pennsylvania has decided to form a force to fight federal and foreign invasion within his jurisdiction. So basically he wants somebody, you know, a force um, to fight when the feddies come for your guns. Yep, that's right. Um, I'm going to read from his website now. It says, alert, anyone interested in joining a reserve force with the Gilberton Borough Police Department, contact Chief Kessler immediately for details. Due to our country's current situation, I'm compelled to form an auxiliary force. The Department of Homeland Security is stockpiling ammunition, stockpiling machine guns at alarming rate. I believe we have no choice for what may or may not happen shortly. Ask yourself this one question. Can you walk into any sporting goods store and purchase 22, 9 mil, 45, 40 cal, 5, 5, 6, 7, 6, 2, or 308 ammunition in quantities more than a box or two, or any at all? If your answer is no, ask yourself, why? I'll tell you why. Because the government is stockpiling, stockpiling billions of rounds of ammunition. For what? Even if the police... Even the police can't get ammo. DHS now has enough weapons and ammo to wage a 30-year ground war. But on who and why? What is wrong with this picture? Maybe the tyrants want to take as much ammo off the civilian market as possible. Either way, it's disturbing. The reserve force will be made up of uh, police, prior, current, and non-law enforcement. Um, they will all have to have a background check, supply their own duty gear like uniform, military, BDU, weapons, ammunition. Everyone will be required to attend a firearm certification course at a gun rate set by the firearm instructor. You will have to be trained on both long gun and handguns. Um, there will also be hand-to-hand -hand combat training, knife fighting tra training, urban combat training, and sniper courses. Nice. Search and rescue as well. Uh, they would only be called upon in the event of a federal or foreign invasion. They would not be called up for ordinary police work, nor will you have police arrest powers. Um, this is a distinct difference from the militia, according to Kessler. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. Hopefully other law enforcement officials will step up to the plate and form something similar. You notice with these uh, new bills that keep being pushed, there is a wedge not only being, you know, driven further between law enforcement officials and citizens, but also between law enforcement officials and law enforcement officials. They are now butting heads. Some want this gun control crap, and others are saying, we will not fucking have it. Um, I like the fact that Chief Kessler says, we ain't going to have it. That's awesome. Hopefully other law enforcement officials will step up to the plate and form something similar and draw the line in the sand. Thanks for watching. Please share. Have a great day.